Close to December, you know that she was gonna go crazy. You know, uh, having a good time, outgoing person, very free-spirited person, open-minded, not afraid of being herself, and just really having a good time and not even hiding it. So I remember it was a weekend, and there was like the whole lot of picnic things going on, and she gave me a call and she said, Nana, let's go out, let's go out, I'm coming to pick you up, and I was like, yo, Babe, I can't go out because tomorrow I'm scheduled to fly to Cape Town. It was on a Sunday. Monday morning, I'm already in Cape Town because I flew in very early in the morning and they gave me time to rest for about an hour, two hours. And then um, around six, seven, I was already on set doing my makeup. And then the first call I received was from Shomla Dandala. Shomla, hi Shomla, I was excited, mm. like, hey man, it's early for this call, what's going on? But you know, Shomla, you get excited, yeah. we work together, it's my brother and all that, and we have, you know, that understanding, you know, friendship. And it's like, wow, do you miss me? You know me, and that craziness sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and then he was like, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. No, seriously, are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Okay, bye-bye. Just like that. The next call, my friend uh, Jabulili Molocho, she calls. My friend, my friend, are you okay? Are you okay? He's not saying anything. Yeah, I'm okay. Drop the phone. This is strange. And then she called again. I thought it was you. You thought it was me? Yes, I thought it's you. What? Leb was no longer. She was involved in the case. It's not you. What are you talking about? Drop the phone. That was the end of my day. Makeup off. Sneakers. Back to Joburg. It kind of like still didn't make sense, but it made sense. It kind of like this is going. This it's something is happening when I saw Lebu's mom go madrasi. Catch Ali and Lebo's picture. I lost it. But then our last days together was like also the weirdest. I think there was just a lot of messages there. When we had our last, last days together. Nan, when are you getting married? We're getting old. <laughs> that's her, that's her. I'm not even gonna tell you. <laughs> because I, I have a boyfriend. I have mm -hmm. a man now. This is her telling me. You don't like boys. No, I find myself a man. You know why? Because I want to have a baby. When are you going to have a baby? I was like, but I just started Jigga now. I can't be like dancing with a tummy. Mm. <laughs> but you did rock it. You know? But that was her mm. saying, I'm a different person. Sending messages. Sending messages to me. It's like, this is like the next chapter. Mm of my life, it's the next chapter. It's a hunnawena, you know? And then just suddenly she wanted to go back home, go Lindhurst, and then Bongi was around. So, okay, it's gonna go out after that long conversation about marriage and kids, and why aren't, oh, am I getting serious? Why am I, you have these long relationships, but there's never a baby there, mm. you know? That's always been her problem. I don't know why, because <laughs> I choose not to have one or whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, it was time for us to go, and it's like, okay, what's up, my Bongi? Meaning you're gonna go with with Bongi? It's like, no, I wanna go with you. Mm. You know what she did? Obviously, I was alone in the car, and then she said, then I said, okay, I reached out for like the passenger mm. door for her to to come in. It's like, no, I wanna sit behind you, at the back. So basically, when I was driving, it's me driving. And when we were talking on our way to the east to, to, mm -hmm. to Lindhurst, the only thing that I could see it was her eyes. You know that mirror? For the review mirror. Yeah, yeah, that mirror. So every time we, I'll be like, that's label there behind me. That's how we spend our last days together. The, the one moment that always comes in my, 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 my head is the 94. And that's why I still call ourselves, or even call Bumshaka Freedom Group. Mm -hmm. I'm a freedom child. 
94 that's when i was born yes mm. that's that's when a whole lot of us were born just to be given that that chance to say this is who we are and we're going to express, be able to express it, it and yes. talk about it freely and i remember just being part of that that change mm. in our country there's no money in the world that can buy that mm. we're going to take a quick ad break just let you calm down for no me and when we do come back sisters uh, <sighs> we woke up in our high and of course looking into love marriage and so much more remember guys you have to hashtag sisterhood when you tweet us instagram us facebook you know we are active on all social media we're going to be right back after the air break sisterhood